Every morning presents a new opportunity to embrace the freedom and tranquility that comes from surrendering to God. Imagine waking up each morning with a heart at peace, knowing that the day ahead is in the hands of a loving and sovereign God. What a feeling of bliss and freedom it will be when we surrender our worries, fears, and plans to the one who holds the entire universe. He is the one who created us, knows our needs, and loves us deeply. Today, we will explore the act of daily surrender and how it can transform your life, bringing you closer to God's presence and filling your days with divine purpose and unshakable faith. Join me on this journey of letting go and experiencing the boundless love and guidance of our Heavenly Father. Dearly beloved friends, a beautiful morning to you. As we begin this day, let us take a moment to center our hearts and minds on God. Surrendering to God is not just a one-time event. It is a daily practice that brings us closer to Him and aligns our lives with His divine purpose. In Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 and 25, Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This scripture reminds us of the importance of surrendering our will to God's will, trusting that in losing anything for his sake, we will truly find it. Surrendering to God means giving up our plans and desires and trusting that his plans for us are far greater. It means acknowledging that we cannot control everything and that we need his guidance and wisdom in every aspect of our lives. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. This powerful scripture reassures us that when we trust in God and acknowledge Him in all our ways, He will direct our paths and lead us in the right direction. Throughout the Bible, we can find individuals who surrendered to God and experienced His faithfulness. One such example is the Apostle Paul. Before his encounter with Christ, Paul, then known as Saul, was a fierce persecutor of the early church. He was zealous in his efforts to arrest and punish Christians, believing he was doing God's will. However, on the road to Damascus, Saul had a life-changing encounter with Jesus. Blinded and humbled, he surrendered to Christ and became Paul, one of the most influential apostles. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, he declared, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul's life was a testament to the power of surrendering to God, as he allowed Christ to live through him and guide his every step. After his surrender, God used Paul to spread the gospel, write many of the New Testament letters, and perform miracles. Another powerful example is found in the life of King David. In Psalm 55, verse 22, David writes, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. David's life was filled with challenges and trials, yet he continually surrendered his burdens to God and found strength and sustenance in him. This same promise is available to us today. When we cast our burdens on the Lord, he will sustain us and keep us firm in our faith. As we reflect on these scriptures, we are reminded of the peace and strength that comes from placing our trust in him. Surrendering to God means letting go of our understanding and relying on His wisdom and guidance. It means acknowledging 
that his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. In James chapter 4, verse 7, we are instructed to submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Surrendering to God requires us to submit to his authority and resist the temptations and distractions that come our way. It means seeking his will above our own and allowing him to lead us on the path of righteousness. Let us also consider the humility and obedience of Jesus Christ, who surrendered himself completely to the Father's will. Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 through 8 tells us, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Jesus' ultimate act of surrender serves as the perfect example for us to follow. If Jesus himself can surrender to God, the Father, why should we not surrender to God? Surrendering to God is not always easy. It requires humility, trust, and a willingness to let go of our plans and desires. But when we choose to surrender, we open ourselves up to experiencing God's peace, joy, and guidance in ways we never thought possible. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 23 reminds us that, I know, O Lord, that the way of man is not in himself, that it is not in man who walks to direct his steps. We must rely on God's direction and not our understanding. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. As we prepare to enter into a time of prayer, let us remember the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God invites us to come to him with our burdens, our worries, and our fears. He promises to give us rest and to carry our burdens for us, even as we surrender to him. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. Our supreme and precious Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in submission and total surrender to you. We bring ourselves before you and declare that you are Lord over our lives. You are our Creator, our Sustainer, and our Redeemer. We acknowledge that without you, we are nothing. You are the source of our strength and the anchor of our souls. As we start our day with this morning prayer, we pray, Lord, that your presence fills us and guides us throughout this day. Help us to rely on your wisdom and strength in every situation that we may face. Father, we lay down our plans and goals before you and trust that you will direct our paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 reminds us to trust in you with all our hearts and not to lean on our understanding. In all our ways, we acknowledge you, and we believe that you will make our paths straight. Guide us, Lord, in every decision we make today. Help us to seek your will above our own and to follow the path you have set before us. Strengthen our faith to trust in your plans, even when we cannot see the outcome. Lord, we lay down our wishes and desires before you. We surrender our dreams, our hopes, and our ambitions into your loving hands. We acknowledge that you know what is best for us, and we trust you to lead us in the right direction. Help us to align our desires with your will and to find contentment in your perfect plan for our lives. Teach us to delight in your ways and to find joy in your presence. Father, let your will be done in our lives. Just as Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, 
Not my will, but yours be done, according to Luke chapter 22, verse 42. We too surrender our will to you. We ask that you take control of every aspect of our lives and that your will be accomplished in us. Help us to let go of our desires and embrace your divine plan. Give us the courage to walk in obedience, even when it is difficult. Lord, we surrender to your leadership in every aspect of our lives and careers. We acknowledge that without you, we can do nothing. We ask for your guidance and wisdom in our work, our relationships, and our daily activities. Lead us, Lord, and help us to follow your ways. May your light shine through us in everything we do. Father, we surrender ourselves for cleansing and purification. Psalms 51 verse 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We ask that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness and purify our hearts. Remove any impurities, sins, and burdens that may be hindering our walk with you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and renew our spirit so that we may live a life that is pleasing to you. Help us to walk in your truth and to reflect your love and grace to those around us. May our thoughts, words, and actions be a testament to your transforming power. Dear Father, may we decrease and may you increase in our lives. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 reminds us that we have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer we who live, but Christ who lives in us. Help us to die to our fleshly desires and to live fully in your Spirit. Let your presence be evident in our lives, and let your love and grace overflow from us to others. Teach us to walk in humility and to seek your glory above our own. Help us to be vessels through which your will is accomplished and your name is glorified. Lord, please help us to walk in humility before you. James chapter 4 verse 10 says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. We recognize that without you, we are nothing. Strip away any pride or arrogance from our hearts and fill us with a spirit of humility. Teach us to serve others selflessly and to put their needs before our own. Help us to follow the example of Jesus, who humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. May our lives reflect your humility and love. Gracious Father, we lay down our anxieties and worries before you. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, we are reminded to cast all our anxieties on you because you care for us. We surrender every fear, every doubt, and every concern into your hands. Grant us your peace that surpasses all understanding and help us to trust that you are in control of every situation. Strengthen our faith to believe that you are working all things together for our good. Guide us in your wisdom and help us to rest in your promises. Lord, we surrender our future to you. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, your word says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. We trust that your plans for us are good and that you have a purpose for our lives. Help us to walk in obedience to your will and to trust in your timing. Give us the faith to step out in courage and to follow the path you have set before us. Fill us with your hope and assurance, knowing that our future is secure in your hands. Father, we surrender our finances to you. We acknowledge that every good and perfect gift comes from you, and we trust that you will provide for all our needs according to your riches in glory. Help us to be good stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us. Teach us to give generously and to trust in your provision. Guide us in making wise financial decisions and help us to seek your kingdom above all else. Lord, 
we surrender our fears and anxieties to you. Your word in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 encourages us to not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, to present our requests to you. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We lay our fears at your feet and ask for your peace to fill our hearts and minds. Help us to trust that you are in control and that you have a perfect plan for our lives. Strengthen our faith to believe that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Father, we surrender our weaknesses to you. Your word in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, tells us that your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. We ask that you take our weaknesses and use them for your glory. Help us to rely on your strength and not our own. Teach us to trust that your grace is enough and that you are working in and through our weaknesses to accomplish your purposes. May we find joy in knowing that your power is made perfect in our weakness, and may we boast in our weaknesses, so that your power may rest on us. Lord, we surrender our past to you. We ask for your forgiveness for any sins and mistakes we have made, and we thank you for the promise of your cleansing and renewal. Help us to let go of any guilt or shame and to embrace the new life you have given us in Christ. Teach us to walk in the freedom of your forgiveness and to trust that you are making all things new. Guide us in moving forward with confidence and hope, knowing that our past does not define us, but your love and grace do. Lord, we surrender our hurts and pains to you. We release any bitterness, anger, or resentment we may be holding on to. Help us to forgive those who have hurt us, just as you have forgiven us. Heal our hearts from every wound and restore our souls. Teach us to walk in your love and to extend grace and compassion to others. Guide us in letting go of the past and embracing the future you have for us. Awesome Lord, we surrender our struggles and challenges to you. Your word reminds us that in this world we will have trouble, but we should take heart, for you have overcome the world. Help us to find strength in your presence and to rely on your power. Guide us through every trial and help us to trust that you are working all things together for our good. Fill us with your peace and courage to face each day with faith and hope. Heavenly Father, as we lay down all our burdens and desires before you, we ask for your guidance and strength in every step that we take. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you, righteous and everlasting Father. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others our channel will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this 
can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.